north from the Swiss border, troops of the French First Army move into Mulhausen, 10 miles from the Rhine, at the southern end of the Western Front. In one month of fighting, 50,000 prisoners have been taken in the new Allied offensive. Evacuated citizens of the town return to their homes. German occupation and forced labor are at an end. In Strasbourg, Alsatian capital, the historic cathedral shows the effects of the heavy fighting between the Germans entrenched in the city and General Patch's 7th Army. German-speaking Alsatians were never converted to Nazism. Many died fighting for their city. Heavy mud slows down American 3rd Army troops, pushing an advance against the retreating enemy in the Metz area. Winter overshoes are distributed. Ranks of prisoners grow as United States troops clean out the last snipers and subdue isolated street fighting. Inside Germany, in the town of Bayswiler, men of the American 9th Army move through backyards and chicken houses in the thick of tight house-to-house -house fighting. Behind the riflemen, medical troops have set up aid stations. A wounded soldier drags himself in. The flimsy aid station comes under the fire of German mortars. Men dodge as shells fall nearer. One shell finds its mark. The group is scattered. The shelter destroyed. March continues as Allied armies drive deeper and deeper into Germany from the West.